Good morning. This is Tim Johnson, and here's a look at what's going on around us on Friday, August 27th, 2021. There were two new deaths and 141 new COVID-19 cases reported in Vermont on Thursday. There were eight new positive tests in Wyndham County. New Hampshire reported two deaths, 357 new positive COVID-19 cases, including 23 in Cheshire County. In Massachusetts, 13 deaths, 1,793 new cases of the COVID virus, with 11 in Franklin County. Vermont Congressman Peter Welch says he joins the nation in grieving at the loss of 11 Marines and one Navy medic who were rescuing American citizens and Afghan allies from Kabul, Afghanistan. Welch says all Americans are rightly and fiercely proud of the men and women in uniform, including Vermont National Guard members who are working on the scene. New Hampshire Senator Gene Shaheen, a senior member of the Senate Armed Service Committee, called upon the Biden administration to expend every available resource to stabilize the security situation and speed up evacuations of U.S. citizens and coalition partners and Afghan allies. This weekend marks the 10th anniversary of Tropical Storm Irene in Vermont. Several Wyndham County towns, including Brattleboro, saw flooding and road damage. Locally, there were two reported deaths in Wyndham County, and there's the continued mystery surrounding the disappearance of 17-year-old Marble Arvidsson. To date, there's still no word about the youth's whereabouts or condition. Vermont's Department of Disabilities, Aging, and Independent Living is distributing $5 million to Vermont Adult Day Centers to provide financial stability after the extended shutdown during COVID-19. The investment is made with money from the American Rescue Plan Act, which was allocated in the current state budget. A Brattleboro man is facing court charges for an incident in Townsend. Vermont State Police say 47-year-old Jason Smith was cited for alleged domestic assault and interfering with emergency services. State police received a call from a concerned friend who claimed the victim was recently assaulted by Smith. It was then reported that Smith threatened the victim not to call police. After a brief investigation, Smith was arrested and then lodged for violating terms of past probation. You're up to date this Friday. Have a good day and a great weekend.